Just a few minutes left here at noon, so we want to get right back to Dr. Andrew Schlachter, a pulmonologist with St. Luke's. All right, next question. Should you have a COVID test prior to taking the vaccine? No, I don't believe we need that. Right now, we're considering patients who have had recent disease or recent exposure be uh, not at the absolute top of the list, but I do not believe we need a COVID shot prior to getting our vaccine. I think that once you are clear to get a vaccine, you should get one. Next question is, how will you know that the vaccine is working? So excellent question. I think we need to rely on the safety and the data relate, released by Pfizer and upcoming Moderna, which showed that about 28 days after the first shot and about six or seven days after the second shot, there was a significant biochemical sign of immunity. And I think that all patients are not going to have that biochemical test, but should feel safe after the appropriate time from their vaccination. Is the vaccine safe for people who have underlying issues, maybe asthma or you know, a severe food allergy or something like that? Without having had a history of reactions and anaphylactic reactions to previous vaccines, I have received and read no objective evidence to say that this vaccine is not safe for anyone, including those with underlying lung disease, such as asthma or COPD. And in fact, those are patients that we would think should be higher up on the priority list to receive the vaccine once available to them. Okay, Dr. Andrew Schlachter, thank you so much for your time this afternoon.